View reports suspicious fires destroyed Al Sharpton's financial records twice. This was in the past. It happened both times that he was running for office and failing to comply with tax and campaign filing requirements. Coincidence, he asks. National Review's Gillian Melcher has the story and she joins us now. Thank you. Okay, occasion number one when a suspicious yes. fire occurred. When was it? 1997 when he was running for mayor. And that one was viewed from the offset as an arson, arson slash explosion case. And it was his tax records? Tax records were damaged. He didn't end up filing taxes on time, didn't end up filing all of his campaign stuff on time. And some of it didn't come out until after the election. So okay. second fire. Second effect, second fire. 2003 when he's running for U.S. president. And I think what's so interesting about this fire in particular is it was treated as an accidental electrical fire. But as I looked into this, there are a lot of reasons to question whether that's actually the fact. So first of all, you've got a experienced fire marshal showing up on the scene inexplicably being removed from it. You've got the fire department only giving like 38 photos in a six page report. This is a person of prominence. This is somebody running for US presidency. The report is that small. And then the person who discovered the fire, uh, we know for a fact that he was in the US illegally at at least one point, um, have heard rumors that Sharpton was possibly paying him under the table. And there's some holes in his story about how he found the fire. Well, I think he tends to throw gasoline on a racial <laughs> fire. Yes. I think he did not help in Ferguson. Um, do you think that he should still be the anchor of a show on a news network? He's on MSM MSNBC. Sure. I, you know, I, I don't, and that's because he's got such big tax problems. He's been a controversial figure from the beginning. I think it undermines their credibility. Uh, Monica, do you want to weigh in on this one? He is an anchor. Of, uh, he's been there for several years. Yeah. He's on that show. I don't think his ratings are very good, but he's on no, that show. No. He's, a, he's a, a guy in good standing on yeah. MSNBC. Look, I don't put it past Democrats to do anything to protect themselves. There is a pattern here, and let's not forget. That what Jillian is reporting about the suspicious fires is one thing. This comes on top of reports that he hasn't been paying his taxes and the IRS has massive liens against him. And yet he still gets away with it. He's, he, Why? He because goes he's to the one White of the House. nation's top race hustlers. But he goes and he's to the close White to the House. president of the he United does. States. That's why he continues to get away with is it. Is he though. President Obama's point man or one of them on race? I is think Jillian? so. I mean, he's sat in very intimate meetings, not only on race relations, but also on immigration education. I think, you know, this is a public figure. He's not gotten the scrutiny that he deserves. And it's really unfortunate because America needs a civil rights leader right now, and it needs one with an unimpeachable reputation. Look, this guy runs extortion rings. This is what, what Al Sharpton does, whether it's corporations, whether it's Comcast, the head of MSNBC, which then gave him a show. He runs an extortion operation. And he says, if you don't give me what you want, then I'm going to go boycott your company. I'm going to run boycotts, racial boycotts. I'm going to go out in public and call you a racist. And time and again, people cave into him. I think this comes to the fore now in particular, mm -hmm. given the problems between police forces and the communities that they police, mm -hmm. and what happened last night in Ferguson. What role did Al Sharpton play in the original disturbances in Ferguson, and what level of responsibility does he have for what has happened recently? And so far, I mean, we have not gotten a statement from Sharpton, as far no, as we know this We've got morning, it from uh, Attorney not. General Holder, but we have not gotten a statement yes. from Al Sharpton. I think, you know, the person who pulled the trigger is ultimately responsible, but Al Sharpton yeah. did uh, contribute to a culture where, you know, racial relations are tense right now, and I think he's been provocative rather than healing. Uh, Jillian Melcher from National Review, thanks Thank for you. joining us again. A new study reveals 